Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Horror History Class. I'm Mr. Mac, and today we cover a western. I mean, a horror film. A horror western? Let me see. Yes. A horror western. Today, we take a look at Bone Tomahawk. Now pay attention, students. Class is in session. Written and directed by S. Craig Zoller in 2015, this horror western film feels like riding a dang on Mustang kicking and giving it all a wild ride while you watch. Sorry about the terrible accent. Believe it or not, this film really is amazing. Even more amazing is the fact that it was written and directed by the same guy, and it was his first time directing. And he even got stars like Patrick Wilson and Kurt Russell to star in his debut film. Zoller wrote the script back in 2007, but did not complete the film until 2015, the full eight years between the inception of the script's conception and the film's completion. The last sentence was quite the tongue twister, let me tell you. The fact that the film only had a budget of $1.8 million is quite the cinematic feat, even if that is kind of a big budget by our standards here on this show. I sort of wish this show had that kind of budget, actually. Sure could use a new suit, a new chalkboard, maybe even a new desk. It was praised mostly by critics and fans alike, and I hope it gains in popularity over the years. This movie really deserves a cult following. Variety called it a most violent delight. Emphasis on the delight and violent part. Zoller also isn't only a very talented filmmaker and writer, but he's also a musician. He's a drummer, lyricist, and vocalist under the stage name Zaw. A heavy metal musician, he played in bands such as Charnel Valley and Realm Builder. And he was also a journalist for Metal Maniacs magazine. That's some serious alliteration for you, class. Metal fans and horror movies, am I right? Zoller's debut film was shot over the course of 21 days, and it's an excellent western and an excellent horror film. Who doesn't love cannibals? Come on. It really is a nasty little film. Lots of gratuitous violence in this movie. Which I approve. It's bound to get your horror-loving hearts beating. Go check it out. <coughs> now class, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on what films you would like to study next. See you all next time. Class dismissed.